Kirana Koto Ka Toto. We're finally a Moke. And in this video, we're getting settled into our new home, starting with our new residence. We don't have our own house in Moke yet, so um, my auntie Ake and uncle Ina have um, allowed us to stay in their family home, which is in Temangi. Their father, Papa Terea, and my nana, Tenane Teirea, uh, were first cousins. So we're family and they're happy for us to um, stay at the house and look after it as they all live in Raro, New Zealand and Australia. So here's a tour of our new home for the time being in Temangi, Mauke. Let's go. Kia ora family. I thought I'd make a video for you guys to get a bit of uh, context uh, for how we are living at the moment. So here's our shipping container sitting out in front of the shop. Inside that shop is um, all our stuff piled up, mostly the linen and the office furniture. And then uh, as we sort of go over here, this is where we're staying. So, this is where our main hangout spot is. So, there's um, uh, graves there from the Tadeo uh, family. Just the papas uh, related to Nana. And then his cousin, I believe. And this is where we hang out. Yeah. We just have our breakfast here at the table. That's my bro Mona chilling on the couch. Holidays, uh, still That's that there is the toilet and shower. And there's this um, sort of um, sort of derelict flat at the back. It's like two bedroom, but it's. Um, in pretty bad shape, but I'm pretty keen to clean it up. Say hi, Dad. I was just doing a video for them. Hi, guys. Beautiful day. Look at me. <laughs> He's gonna go husk the coconut for us. Yeah. Papa Mana talking to his daughter. This is a like this was another shop. And me and Mono, we put our bubble wrap up there for our projectors. We've been watching to Maivanui. But um, yeah, I've got all the electronics stored in here. But this might be a pretty decent makeshift um, office slash classroom. I don't think it's got any power, but it's there and it's doing pretty mean as storage. Yeah, yeah Auntie Wall is going back to her house. She's staying at Nonnals, which is past that, not that one, but the one behind it, down there. So we basically... Hey? Sure, what's wrong with it? Yeah, yeah, there's the truck, and then that goes around to the back. And that's it. So I'll show you the, um, this is sort of the... The other shop slash office thing so it's pretty low key that that window opens up and then this window opens up as well but i reckon this is a pretty cool space for something i just don't know what it is yet i reckon um, i should set it up as an office and then leave the windows open so um the youth can come and see what i'm up to and hang out if they want um, so yeah that's that Please, the house. That's my bro, Mona. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to send it to my family in New Zealand. This is Ben's couch. With the camping chairs. Oh, yeah. Chuck it on the charger. One of those ones. This is I sleep here. Dad sleeps here. Where's the charger? Just like uh, maybe one of those ones that the headphones. This is where Uncle Natoko and Papa Mana sleep. There's another room here, storage. Should probably come and sleep in here. Yo! Another room here, just random storage. This is sort of like a kitchen, some shelves. The batteries on charge, chest freezer, some food that we brought over from Raro. And then like another sort of kitchen. This is the water. This is the only water in the house. Toilet. 
We just put the washing machine in today. Well, uh, not pretty, but does the job. Yeah, pretty rugged. Your missus definitely wouldn't like it, bro. Um, I don't think anybody's would, but <laughs> I just set that up. I did a zoom call on that desk. It was just plywood in the trusses. tied that line today yeah. so yeah it's a bit different to a New Zealand home it's not as fancy doesn't have all the bells and whistles but you have to remember we're in a remote island location doesn't have any hardware stores no homeware stores nothing like that plus I don't think many people here even care about all that extra stuff we're just grateful to have a roof over our heads clean water to drink a shower and a flush toilet so I love it I think it's perfect and an awesome place to call home while we work towards building our own so as we started to unpack and get settled into Moke, one of our top priorities was to clear the land out at Onionga where we plan to build, just to get a feel for the space and start to envision what we plan to do out there. So, here we are on the land. Finally here, gonna start clearing it. Hopefully get a nice spot here for our container to rest. Just somewhere in here. So yeah, let's get at it. This is the first day on the land. Using the grass cutters. This is where the area we're going to put the container, but the grass cutter rope keeps running out. Got some other grass cutters there locked up. But I think this might be the spot. Kia ora whanau, this is the third day of us uh, clearing the land here in Onionga. Um, as you can see the ground is very rocky. And there's lots of these little trees that uh, Papa Mum is cutting out because it just makes it the rocks plus the sort of uh, plants sticking out of the ground makes it really hard to cut the grass. As you can see we've started there uh, Just clearing this area here. all the rocks onto your legs <laughs> so at some point we're going to have to come in here and break up these rocks then there's these ones too thick so you have to pull them up can't pull out. So Mona, he cuts them with the knife. Hey bro. <laughs> <laughs> so in around here there's heaps of them sticking up so we're gonna have to cut all of those out. And then um, here's where we're gonna put the container. So I'm just clearing this part here. We'll put the shipping container up here. And uh, yeah, and also just sort of cutting this area. Sort of cut that front part. Hopefully clear up to there, clear up around there. 
Yo, Ian. You put one hand on the thing, yeah, and you pull. day on the land. We just started clearing it uh, with the grass cutter. It was kind of like grown up sort of um, flowers like this. It's probably about that length on this side here. We just sort of cut it but there's still a bit more to do. There's some cake there cuz in the foil. No, nah, no, nah, so one of the aunties already had, they already had that. Hey, man, you're to pick. Yeah. <laughs> so just going to sort of chop, chop down these long ones sticking out of the ground here because you can't cut them with a the grass cutter. So I'm just going to pull them out. Get some mighty. Pardon? Get some mighty. Yeah. Cool. Um, it's nice, eh? Yeah. Place with, uh, I really, I really know this, this place is alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good thing, eh? No bugs, it's dead. Maybe just get these little ones, eh? Should we try just getting some good soil to fill up the buckets? Good decomposed soil around this tall tree. Just digging it up. So we're just going to start with something small, just before Papa Manali is going to get him to show me how to do a nice little garden bed, something that um, you know I'll be able to easily replicate. So we just got some cut coconut tree. Um, stump. I'm just gonna lay down. Oops. Should I wear my boots? That's good. It's gonna be lots of buckets of dirt, eh? Stuff here. Yeah. You won't need that much, do you? Yeah, just made the boat. Yeah, just basically just leave it like this. But we're not going to plant today. Yeah. Because we need this to settle. Yeah. Yeah, so the more you put in here, the less dirt you will need. Yeah. We just need the dirt to. Activate the microbes. But you think that's a, that's a good base? Is just these flowers plus the dirt? Yeah. Or any any plant that can grow in the sun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
need to cut some more coconut trees because that's all we had that was um, on the land. But yeah, first garden bird at Oniunga. There it is. Small beginnings, but it's a start. See, Uncle. See, boy. See, see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. More clearing today, Fano. His granddad up there. I just sort of been pulling the long plants out of that area under that tree and piling them up all around it. And dad's just cutting this sort of last bit of long grass. And I'm just going ahead and pulling out the stuff, weeding it by hand, the stuff that's too big to for the grass cutter. So we get in there, Fano, get in there. You see the stumps there, that's where we're thinking to put in the container. Um, yeah. Chipping away, chipping away. Feels good. It's just nice to spend the day down here. We spent most of yesterday cleaning the house, so we weren't, uh, went down here, so it's nice being down here today. So we're starting to get there, starting to get the land cleared. As you can see it's quite uneven, there's quite a lot of um, potholes and um, divots in the ground and that's probably from the goats just coming through and digging it up. It's probably um, where we're going to put our shipping container. We just sort of, all the plants I pull up I just throw around the trees like a bit of a composting bed I think but you can see it's starting to get a bit clearer but gee feels good busy day just weeding pulling out plants um, but yeah it's just kind of what you have to do the grass cutter can't get at it so you just got to get in there and do it manually Still lots of coconuts. Need to get them sort of out of the road. Heaps of them. So once we get it a bit clearer, then it'll be coconuts and rocks. And clearing that stuff. And sort of way enough, we still haven't cut that grass there. Dad got tired, he's like, nah, I'll put it in the morning. Um, but yeah, kind of need to kind of want to ask the family what they think if we should sort of leave the land as it is sort of divots and hills and all and just like leave it natural or should we pay to get the sort of excavator in and level it out so yeah I don't know do you go for that natural look or do we go for like get it excavated so it's a bit more practical. I'm sort of a bit more favouring the natural thing. I don't mind. 
you know, if we need to build some structures, we can do it on um, piers, sort of raised a little bit. And like if there, we were to put like a bigger sort of marae style building in, in the back here, then we could level just that area. But maybe it's just easier to get it all leveled at once. I don't know, what does the family think? Be cool for you guys to um, chime in because we really want to do what, what we all want to do as a family. We want to do what, um, what we all want. So yeah, leave us a comment. Any ideas? Do you think it's a good idea to put the shipping container there? I'll sort of tell you what, why there. I'm sort of thinking here and then sort of the deck coming out of the side here. We'll probably lay down sand, like level that out, Go put sand and then probably put a tent under that tall tree and we've got another tent that can go under this tall tree over here so we've sort of got tent, tent for tent city and then like the container with the deck out here and then we've got canvas tarps that we could try tie off the ends of the container onto the trees so it's sort of like this is the, the middle point uh, if you can kind of visualize sort of tent city so tent there tent there tarps tied off the trees a deck out here um yeah and then just sort of coming out this way i, I think it'd be really nice to have like some decks around these trees so you can come and sit on here um even like some around those ones some around by granddad there's a really nice shaded area up here some decks up here but I guess um, the immediate thing is what does the family think? So see like there's a big divot here, just drops down. Then there's sort of like, you know, unevenness all through there. It's a lot easier to notice once we sort of cut the grass. There's a bit of a hole in here. Uh, and then there's that, this is probably the highest point where I'm standing and then it just sort of slopes down like that. So it's a bit uneven. Would have been nice to have cleared that to see it, but they wants to do that in the morning. But yeah, family, what do you think? Shipping container position? Yeah, nah. Um, and should we consider getting the excavator in here to level this land? Or should we leave it natural, sloping the way it is? Keen to know what you guys think. So we've temporarily had our shipping container sitting out front of uh, Papita Ide's um, shop. Uncle Taide um, used to run a shop in here and the shipping container's just been sitting in front of it temporarily until um, the guys are ready to take it out to Oniunga. So we're quite happy that it's um, going out to Oniunga because it would mean we can store um, tools and stuff out there. Um, it also means that um, we can sort of camp out there and just be based out there while we work on the land. See you. Pretty exciting day. Get the container uh, moved. She's on her way to Onyonga. It's quite funny, the truck, the tray of the truck is not long enough for a 20 foot container. It's about 70, 70 mil too short, so they have to put it on an angle. <laughs> Bit sketchy, but that's how it is.
really wedged in there. I think instead of um, trying to zigzag between the coconut trees, I think they're going to lift the container and try to straighten it up on the truck. But the, um, the, the, the deck of the truck is actually shorter than a 20 foot container, so it's going to overlap somewhere. But mad respect to the boys for just, um, you know, doing what it takes to sort of get it there.
Thank you, bro, for that thing. Yeah? Yeah, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. That was hard. You too, bro. Yeah, bro. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, bro. We came, uh, we came yesterday. Yeah. And just where they all turned in. Yeah. I said, oh, clear. <laughs> and then on our way back, he said, on our way, you come in. That's the best part of the people that choose you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Seeps. Once we got our area set up, we'll have a big kaika and you fellas come bring your family. <laughs> have a mean feed. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. 
I like your work, man, on the top there. <laughs> Nia, eh? Yeah. yeah, too much, bro. Too much, boys. The boys got it done, got the job done. Feels bloody good. We can get our tools down here now. We're gonna bring our tents down here. We're gonna stay down here. And set up on the Unga. Natitaidea. Thank you, Granddad, helping out. We got this, fams. Praise the Lord, eh? God is good. Slowly but surely. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. That's the end of this episode. Just want to thank again the boys that got the container out to Onyonga. They could have easily given up and said that it couldn't be done. But I'm quickly learning that nothing's impossible for the Moke boys. So mei taki rā nui nui, tutaka, kupa and nia for not giving up and making sure the container got their sweet ass. Thank you bros. I look forward to repaying the favour. In the next episode we're turning our focus a little bit away from the land and into the Moke community. Getting a feel for it and starting to think about how we can start contributing and learning some of the Moke ways of life. I'm going to try and release a new video every week on Sunday nights. So that's uh, Monday nights for New Zealand and Australia. So make sure to tune in next week to catch the next episode. We'll see you then. Project Sunrise out. Ka kite.